Hey y'all, welcome to Heritage Ways. I am Miss Katie. Today at my table for you, I am going to serve you and offer you a, an appetizer that y'all, it is going to be delicious. Um, it is from, it's a copycat from a wonderful Greek restaurant in Tennessee where Mr. Patient and I used to go quite often. Stay tuned. During the intro, why don't you hit the subscribe button and then come back. Learn how to make this easy and delicious little appetizer, or it could even be a meal for one or two people. Okay, now I've got my little platter here, my grandmother's platter, and I'm going to tell you about the ingredients, and y'all don't get bogged down and think, okay, I've never heard of that, or it's too expensive, or too fancy, or whatever. None of that, y'all. It's 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 not hard because I've already sliced our red onion. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and open our salmon. Let's talk about each item. This is cold smoked Atlantic salmon from Aldi. It was not, I don't remember the cost, but it was not cost prohibitive. Most things aren't at Aldi. And you can find some great um, different type things to use at your home. But before Aldi started carrying it, I was getting this at Kroger and other places. Quite honestly, it looks pretty much about the same kind of package. Uh, it says one serving per container. All right. Let's bring you in a little bit. Y'all come on in and let's learn about some of these ingredients. Okay, so this is a smoked salmon. I'm just going to use this little spoon, but I'm going to show you it is thinly sliced. This little appetizer is one that I would always get when Mr. Patient and I went to a particular restaurant, and for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. I think it was on Broad Street in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Greek restaurant across the street from a lot of um, antique stores. Anyway, and I would get this, and then I decided, of course, it was, you know, cheaper to make it at home, and I would make this for myself. Now, Mr. Patient likes it, um, but he's fine to let me make it as a treat for myself as well. I'm just showing you there's enough here for more than one person. <laughs> also at Aldi, I got the pita bread. You can get that anywhere. I have already taken a knife and cut them into equal triangles. You can also use a cookie cutter, I mean a pizza cutter. So I got that out to show you that. Or scissors if you wanted to use scissors. I think this is a great thing to have for... Um, for just one or two people. You know, a lot of times we see it, we see um, appetizers that are for a lot of people. I think this is for one or two, or maybe four, three or four. Uh, mascarpone cheese. This is a soft, uh, spreadable cheese. It's quite delicious. You don't even know, have to know how to pronounce it or how it's made or anything to enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to build this as if it were for, say, two people. Smoked salmon on here. There's really no right or wrong. Just, you know, do it however. Red onions. Okay, now the next thing, we have about three more things here. Um, we use um, capers. This is something you can't, I don't find at Aldi, but you can find it actually found it at my discount store. And I'm just gonna spread them on top here. Like a, like a, uh, what is it, Big Lots or Ollie's or one of those places. If you can't, if you, you know, or it is at the grocery store. Capers. These are the, um, uh, they come from the nasturtium flower. Then we are going to sprinkle I actually, I'm going to put my olive oil over the top. This is very healthy. You know that. Put my olive oil. And this is from Aldi as well. I feel like I'm doing an Aldi commercial, but 
I could. I'm not affiliated with Aldi, y'all. I'm just, this is where I got these things. And let's see here. Okay. And my dill weed. You can use dry, uh, fresh or uh, dried like I'm doing. Uh, you can build it any way you want, but spread that nice cheese on your on your wedge there, your pita wedge. Put you a piece of uh, salmon, the smoked salmon, and you got the the capers and the red onions and the deal. Just build it up there and have at it. Oh my word! I did not leave out a thing. Y'all, oh my goodness. So look, treat yourself, you and your husband, you and whoever you live with, if it's just two of you, this is perfect. I, honestly, I wouldn't do this for a crowd just because, well, just because I just wouldn't. But I think it's great for one or two people, maybe three or four healthy, low carb. I think you used to could get Joseph's pitas. I think Joseph's was the name. They were low carb. Um, these aren't, but I hope you'll try this. Try. Now, let me know in the comments below. Is any of this strange to you? Or maybe all of it is strange. Um, let me know what you think about some of these ingredients. Uh, some of you may not care for salmon or capers. Some of you might say, what does a caper taste like? Well, it's got a bite. Um, when I say that, you know how you feel it right here. So it's got a bite like a pickle would, because it is pickled. Um, salty. Other than that, I don't know. I mean, it tastes good to me. Salty, it's got a bite. Look, y'all take care, count your blessings, and I'll see you next time.